let, let me ask you a question because you've been asking me questions for the last five minutes. Coach. <laughs> <laughs> let me ask you a question. Now, Coach, how in the world do you stay focused on MMA when it's banned? Like, how are you? Like, how are you training mixed martial arts when there is no uh, ability to go compete? I know you guys will go compete in other countries mm -hmm. and everything, but it's hard whenever you can't do it at home. DC, you know that more than me is about. Passion is about love. Patience. It's about love in the sport. Yeah, dedication, love, and passion. I, I just fell in love with MMA, and uh, I didn't. I mean, no, I didn't even care about the, the context. How everything was hard. I was just in love with the, with what we was doing, and and I tried. I, I keep pushing mm -hmm. till till now. That's it. Coach, you know what the lottery is. <laughs> just let me know, just add, you I know, know what where, the, lot, the I, U.S. lottery. You I know, know where, where you're going. I know. Yeah, where go you're going. go to the store, coach. <laughs> Big numbers, and then you're gonna win the lottery. I think I'm lucky. Yeah, I know that. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking lucky. Because I mean, you've done it twice. Yeah. And I mean, those guys, I mean, did you recruit these guys? Did these guys show up? No. <laughs> I don't have any any credit recruiting them. What I can have a credit is that I did believe on them. Yes. So like, like. Okay, listen. When when Francis Gano arrived in my gym, um, he fought against a young guy in France. Uh, the name of this guy is Zuma Nassisi. Mm -hmm. The guy was 7 and 0. The guy beat Francis. Okay, but this guy, you still don't know him. He's a heavyweight. Yeah. He was 19 by then. And Francis did lose against the guy, but I managed to put him in the UFC when he was 5 and 1. Yes. Francis. I remember That's that. That's how I delivered on Francis. And I get San Siri with Meg. With the UFC when he was 2 0. People they think that he was 3 0. He was 2 0. I got the contract with for Cyril. And then, when because we had a last fight with the TKO, we accomplished that mission and then he went to the UFC. Yeah. That's how I believe. Uh, I have the, I believe on my guy. That's how I push them hard. So you take so, him, you see him, you get him, but you didn't take him, believe in him, and, and nurture him. Yeah, I was very lucky to have them shows up in my gym. They just, I mean, I didn't know where he pops out. I knew it was in my gym. You know, <laughs> France is the same thing. The guy coming from Africa, we are the same country, but I didn't know him before. They called me and they said to me, we have a guy here in the gym. He do not have money to subscribe for the membership, but uh, I don't know, you are the one to decide if we can have him for free. And, and that's what we're doing in my gym. In my gym, we have 50 Membership free for people there. Yeah, part. like a scholarship. Yeah. So that's what we did with Francis. And um, the, the, the only credit that I can have is that I did believe on them, but they shows up in my gym. I was just lucky. You know, you have, I remember when. Coach, how much different is Francis today opposed to before? So when you're building the game plan and you have intimate knowledge of him because you started him. Mm -hmm. How much different is he today? And what are the traps that he presents for a guy like Cyril who does not stray? He put himself in no danger against Derek Lewis. I don't know if Derek Lewis even hit him the entire fight. Yeah, but still, um, Francis is something. He's fast, too. That's the thing people forget. Francis I mean, is big, but he's fast. He's not only fast. He's like decent movement, decent uh, footwork. Uh, it's kind of quick for his, heavy, his, size. For his size and it's smart. Like, you, you know, you become smart with, with, uh, with the time. And I can tell that he's now much sure. and, and I can tell that the team that he is, his new coach, mm -hmm. met something that I didn't succeed to do is help him to be composed. Help yeah, a little more to, patient. To, yeah, to be patient. Help him to... Uh, so I know that I, I, can, I can tell that the, 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 his mindset is different now. I can tell that he's not in a rush anymore to, 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 to just rip people out, which is very good because he just needs a little bit technique and that he combined with his power and then everything is on. But uh, I'm disappointed at some point that you guy analyst didn't point out. What's that? DC, you're a fucking wrestler. Don't tell me that you don't know that he was beating on the timing. CP got the <laughs> single leg on him. Easy way. Yes. How can you explain me that? He, he got the single he's leg. He sprawled. He mm -hmm. sprawled I'm, down. Okay, you shouldn't sprawl. When you're a good wrestler, what we are trying to teach you this move guy to the next is position. that 
Keep light on your feet. Don't even give the opportunity to start to sprawl. When Conor McGregor started to sprawl on Khabib, he it's was over. far. It's too late. It's too late. It's too late because how many times can you sprawl with so that's, Khabib? So you think it was Stipe's mistake opposed to Francis doing a good job? On Let the me ask you something, DC. Be honest with me. <laughs> if that was you on that single leg. You answer the question. Would I finish it? He was down. <laughs> Come on, I mean, coach. you if you he sprawled a good job, coach. That was a good sprawl, coach. No, just be honest. But he's I got know, a big leg. I know that you respect you very respectful. I mean, you, you need to respect people. I know that he's a good friend of your friends. He put the head down and he sprawled, coach. But that's that's the plan C. The first plan is to do not, defend before. To, to, to do not get touched. I mean, like, how do you think that this guy, Cyril Ganmek, he managed it to arrive there without having a single second on his back. But why is he not... Uh, that's what I was going to say. Can Cyril Russell... Has, why, uh, Cyril hasn't been taken down. Can Cyril Russell... You will find out when, when, whenever that time comes. Let him fight with Curtis Black. Let him fight with Stipe and then you will find out. But again, what I'm saying is that the, you know that there's a, um, defense wrestling and there's attack wrestling. Yes. Offensive wrestling. On the defense wrestling is a master. He never got taken down. Not because there's not a good wrestler, because you never even have the opportunity to, to single leg him. What I'm saying is that in my gym, in MMA Factory, was what we're doing is to teach striker how to do not get wrestling. And he get the timing was perfect as fuck. <laughs> like, 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 okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, like Sipe was here yeah, and, and Francis was late. Sipe too small. Why? Like, you know, Francis Paul. Well, okay, let me ask you something else. Who do you think that is faster, Sirigan or Sipe? Sirigan. Thank you. He's so, a much faster. Sipe is fast. Okay. But Sipe is not nearly as fast in his movements as zero. Okay. I don't believe. Okay. That's, uh, now that, I don't believe that. Now I can just drop the mic and Would let you, you drop, do what you drop? You, why, why are you going to drop the mic? I just want to let you <laughs> take the conclusion. I'm, I'm finished. I'm done. I just dropped. I mean, if you said that he's faster than Sipe and that Sipe got the single leg. Yes, but Sipe also wrestled his whole life. So maybe it was the timing of the wrestling. That allowed for him to get to the lake. Maybe. Cyril uh, hasn't wrestled. Cyril played basketball. Maybe. Not this, as good as me. Maybe this is the problem. Sipe is 105 in kilos. kilos. When this dude is 114. One, one, 114 kilos. 114 kilos. He's big. He's huge. He's I very mean, big. He look baby face. He's a problem. Let me ask you a question because you've been asking me questions for the last five minutes. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Were you surprised with that in, in New York? Francis actually said he didn't know what he would do or say to you. Yeah. That's why he walked past. That makes sense. Were for you me, surprised? No, no. 100%. Uh, but what could he have possibly said to you? Would you guys start arguing if he spoke? So no. you're telling me you and this man haven't spoke one word to each other. No, since the, no, no, this like two years and a half, we didn't say any, I mean, like we didn't spoke. It's but, so bad that you guys can't even talk to each other. Um, not that bad. To be honest with you, if I have to, to, to talk with Francis tomorrow or shake his hand or, or, or grab a coffee, I will. What I'm saying is that I, I wasn't surprised at all. Because if, if that was me walking there, I would not know how to how to deal with that. But again, I just want to drop you the fact and then you take the conclusion. Nasuri Nimavov almost gave his life for Francis. How? Oh, because in despairing, the thing that I was doing is that I was teaching Francis to do not wrestling and keep light on the field. And then the, 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 the exercise was, if he touched you, you consider that you were you are down. So keep moving and just pick him apart, move. And what Francis was doing, he would not move and just try to counter him with pick a pocket, like, you know, hurting the guy, like really hurting him. But Nasurin is a very nice guy. And he give everything for, to bring, to lift Francis up. I couldn't imagine Francis going across Nasurin, not even saying, hey, Hey, my man, I'm, I'm with you. I, I don't like this 
motherfucker, but you, I'm with you. <laughs> at least, right? At least. Yes. So that, that's my problem. I, I, I thought that it was just say, do this or just do this with the head. head. And, 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 and then that's, that's, that's it. But I, I know that if I was in this